Guys, uh, this is Tony from Backwoods Biker Magazine and Wood Tramp Gear. I had a comment come across uh, my email uh, probably a month ago. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And the comment was, uh, we like the look of the gasifier stove that you showed on the YouTube channel, but it's awful pricey. I've got an alternative for you. Hang tight. All right, guys, welcome back. This is the stove uh, that, you know, I uh, spoke about. It's the Silver Fire Scout. And as far as I'm concerned, it is probably the best gasifier that's out there right now, you know, at least that we have seen. You know, I mean, so many people knock off these things, but I've not seen one that is this quality that works this well. Um, you know, it, it comes with the MSR pot, but this really is the secret of the sauce here. Uh, this is just a regular MSR pot that you can get anywhere, you know, with the fold-down bell. You know, simple stuff. But it's this right here. Uh, Todd Alby out there uh, reverse engineered this when he saw this uh, years ago. So I just want to kind of break this down for you real quick here. And let's see if we can reverse engineer this and get it down to a wood tramp. Uh, type of setting for us here, okay? This top half is just simply, um, it's not the burner, but it is a pot holder. That's all that is, okay? But it's down here that you s start to really look at this. You see these, these flames cut inside of here, okay? That's for ventilation, but now this is where it really gets to be interesting, okay? This is your burn chamber right here, okay? And the burn chamber goes inside of this inner chamber, and this is the gasification chamber. It is double walled, and it has the ability on the bottom for oxygen to be able to be drawn up inside of it, and it is dispersed through these inner flames that's here. Okay? Now on the bottom of this, you have an ash pan. This is this is where your burn chamber is at where you put your fuel. Uh, there is an ash pound on the bottom, but if you take a good look, you see those flames in there? Those are holes that allows oxygen to come up here. That's your initial burn. There, see that? Your initial burn happens here, and as the fuel is burning, there is a secondary uh, oxygen that mixes with the gas that is released during that initial burn. When your fuel burns, it releases a natural gas. Uh, there's not a lot of it, but there's there's enough of it to cause a chemical uh, reaction. Okay, and when it mixes with this secondary fuel, it burns off that gas. So that's why these are so efficient. You have that secondary burn. So in order for us to be able to kind of mimic it, you can't do it perfectly. Okay, you just can't do that because this is, you know, this takes some doing. You know what I mean? I'll be the first to tell you, if you can afford the Silver Fire Scout, I think they're, gee, uh, they change all the time because he puts them on sale. But, you know, let's just say around 100 bucks. But it's a lifetime stove. It's made out of 302 stainless, very heavy duty. It's going to last you. All right? Well, I put that away, and I really don't want to because what I want to show you is simply this. All right? What we're going to try to do is mimic this in some way. And the way that I, I'm doing it is I'm going to use a bush beans can. I don't know what number can this is. Uh, and then this is just a regular, like a Campbell soup can that's going to fit down inside of here. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to try to mimic this. All right. I'm going to take off this bottom lid here. Right. So it's going to be all the way through something like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drill some holes in strategic places for this. And then there will be holes that are drilled in the bottom of this can, right? And there will be some holes that are drilled uh, probably up here on the outside. And then we'll put it down in here and we're going to attach it together with some screws. And then we're going to test it. 
So hang tight here and uh, the video will continue on, but you're going to be able to see it while I'm doing it. Hang tight. Alright guys, uh, so there you have it. I mean, uh, it's it's pretty simple to do, um, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, there's a couple things that I would do different the next time. Number one, I would drill the holes in the small can uh, a little bit bigger, and I would also probably, um, for the gasification holes, I would locate them further down into the burn chamber to where they're not sticking out here. Um, just to be able to give it, you know, more of an opportunity to gasify. Uh, but you saw how well that it, it did burn. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, for the cost of a can of beans and a can of soup, you've got an alternative, you know, to the Silver Fire Scout. But, uh, you know, do they compare? Not even in the same ballpark. I mean, the Silver Fire is going to be a whole lot more 
uh, efficient. You're not going to need as much fuel. Um, you're going to need a lot of fuel to be able to use these. I mean, that's just the name of that tune. Uh, but you know, if you guy, if you're a guy that's on a budget, you know, this is this is a, a good alternative. Uh, save your little ducats, man, so you can buy one of those Silver Fire Scouts. Again, it's my favorite little bush stove, uh, and it will remain that way until something else comes down the pipe. So listen, thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped you out, um, and we'll try to do more of these uh, wood tramp uh, style projects for you, you know, uh, little cheap projects that we're going to do for you, because we get a lot of questions on how do we do things. Uh, so till next time. I want you to go out there and hit that subscribe button down there on your right and become a subscriber. When you do, you get entered into our monthly giveaways. Hit the like and the share button for us. Follow us on, on Twitter and Instagram. We're out there on Instagram quite a bit with different stuff. So check it out. So until next time, you ride free, you live free, and as always, you be safe out there. Don't burn yourself.